Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to say I found another problem with the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. Sadly, um, it still does have a great sensor and it's not a game changer, it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely not something I expected to see in what was classed as the Hasselblad wonderful lens and wonderful, wonderful Hasselblad camera. Well, guess what it's got, folks? It's like going back to the days of the Phantom 2 and GoPro cameras. It has fisheye. It has barrel distortion. It's, it's basically squished in and curves at the edges. If you go to the upper section, if you take your horizon up to the top, it'll bend this way, it'll bend sad. If you take your horizon into the middle, it's straight. If you take your horizon to the bottom, it goes smiley, it bends up. Now, what you're looking at here is the Mavic 1. In all of its resolution modes, it doesn't do this. It's straight across. Same as the Phantom 3, same as the Inspire, they're all pretty much straight across. Now let's have a look at the good old Mavic 2 Pro and if you can't see it it's slight it's slight but you see it's curving the horizon across but it's near the middle so what you can do if you've got professional editing software like Premiere or Final Cut Pro is you can add an anti distortion effect in and it will straighten it out but by doing it if you notice on the edges on the left and the right by doing this you actually lose some of your information your pixels so you have to crop in and it kind of stretches it stretches some of the pixels across so you're not getting pixel for pixel accuracy in your edit because it's basically stretching stuff out so one pixel becomes one and a half pixels um, this is a bit of a bummer because have a look what happens when you get to the top or the bottom of the screen. Let's have a look at another one. This one taken near Silbury Hill. Now this is with the distortion corrected so we've added a filter to correct that but this is what it looks like with it out. Are you ready? Three, two, one, poof. Yeah, that's some bend isn't it? That's as it comes. That's straight as it comes. Now you could say well you know you don't notice it when you're flying along it looks really good but once you once you spot it you realize ah I've got a fisheye image so you can correct it and you can get rid of it but you lose data you lose information now here's the thing on the Mavic 2 Pro all modes every single shooting mode bar one has this problem because every single shooting mode sees full wide so it's seeing the whole area and it's seeing the wide angle effect and only if you shoot in 4k in a mode called HQ does it crop in so you don't see it let's simulate what that looks like so if we if we come to a part where we've got the horizon at the top right now this is what it would look like but what they do with the um, the cropping is they actually zoom in so basically you don't get to see you don't get to see so much of the bend so it goes like this and then you don't get to see so much of it and you know there's not so much visible because you're in closer and that's how they get around it so the trouble is that if you wanted to shoot in 720, 1080, uh, 2.7K, UHD or Cinema 4K any of those modes are uncropped so all of those modes will give you a distorted image. Only one mode on the Mavic 2 Pro gives you slightly less of this effect because it crops in and that's UHD 4K right? and that crops in. Now I think that realistically uh, DJI have dropped the ball here. Um, yes they're giving you the ability to have a wider view but you have to correct it in post. Now a lot of people aren't going to want to shoot, shoot in 4K, you know, 1080p is going to be fine for them, but they're screwed. You know, they've got no way to fix this unless they've got professional software like Premiere or Final Cut Pro. So, it is a bit of a game changer. Uh, it, it For a lot of people this might be quite upsetting because they're going to realize that their wonderful Hasselblad lens, you know, shooting in 1080p actually looks distorted 
you're going back to you know sort of like the GoPro days not as bad as the GoPro but you know it's definitely a fisheye look so um, as the horizons pan up and down you're gonna get this this sort of effect is going to be happening to your horizon as it goes up and down um, not everybody's going to notice it but once it's been pointed out to you you've got to say to yourself hang on is this really a quote Hasselblad lens because the lenses that were on the Phantom 3 the Phantom 4 the Inspire they're all better than this and it doesn't even do this on the Mavic so maybe maybe DJI should really think about bringing in some of these HQ modes in 720, 1080p and 2.7 because by cropping in you're getting rid of that so the, the shooting experience is actually like you're on a narrower lens rather than a wide angle lens but by doing the narrower lens you're not seeing so much of the crap it means you get every pixel is there you don't have to introduce this stretching effect which is losing data and smudging your pixels yeah, in order to, to look natural and I think people would like to have that natural non-distorted look in 1080p and 2.7 this is important and DJI needs to think about this and I'm surprised more people aren't talking about it it's not the end of the world for me because I can just put a filter in there but if you're just editing on your phone you've got distorted images and the other thing I noticed was that um, now that I put the latest drivers on my RE goggles now the Mavic 1 is misbehaving through those goggles badly misbehaving which is no surprise because DJI always like to mess up the drivers for old drones when they bring out a new drone so they brought out the Mavic 2 so they gotta screw up the Mavic 1 drivers now excellent well done DJI well done what's it doing it's, it won't allow you, you in the in the goggles you cannot change between resolutions and it'll allow you to go to ISO 50 which doesn't exist yeah and it'll allow you to go to um, iris 1 which doesn't exist yeah because it starts at 2.8 but you can take it down to iris 1 but it doesn't do anything but they just allowed you to go to these non-existent settings that don't actually exist so um, there's that and then if you go into your phone and you set it at say 2.7k within about 30 seconds it'll go changed to 1080p and you go well I didn't do that so you put it back at 2.7k another 10 seconds dunk, back to 1080p it just changes itself to 1080p 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 unless you switch it to 2.7k or 4k and you quickly switch it into record in which case it'll stay locked in that mode the moment you stop it'll switch again so this is the problem DJI have released a drone that doesn't really have proper drivers out for it yet and they've released it into the marketplace with real bugs and they don't seem to have really appreciated that for Hasselblad quote Hasselblad really good quality that what they've given people is actually a distorted lens on your super quality Hasselblad so anyway thanks very much for watching and maybe you want to send your opinions about this to DJI and get them to put this HQ mode cropping in on all the others as well give the HQ mode as well as the wide because some people may want that wide yeah but give the HQ no distortion crop sensor on the other modes as well because it's not looking good so thanks very much for watching